Welcome back inside of the Plastic Planet. I'm your host, Nick Knack, hanging out with you guys tonight. Guys, I got a big super duper Star Wars haul to show off to you guys tonight uh, that I bought all throughout the month of September. It's my September super haul, you might say. Got a lot of Black Series. Got some classic Kenner 12-inch action figure love. And normally I would never buy that because it's really not aged very well as a uh, as a collection goes. But these look really good, so you're going to want to check out that as well. So anyway, lots of Black Series, lots of Hasbro. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. This is going to be great. Let's do it right now. Knickknacks, Plastic Planet. Alrighty, guys. So first and foremost tonight, guys, I mentioned in my last video, I was sort of going down a uh, Star Wars Rebels uh, rabbit hole a little bit on uh, Disney Plus and uh, checked out a lot of the episodes that I hadn't watched since they came out. And I was, you know, always kind of kind of critical of uh critical of this show when it first came out didn't really like it but you know then the sequels came along and said hold my beer and uh now i know what really bad star wars looks like so in comparison this is pretty this is the gold standard man uh you know and i'm not a big fan of these uh, protagonists so to speak uh they weren't the best but man when they had cameos on that show like darth vader like obi-wan kenobi like lando calrissian uh even see through an r2d2 the, the show kind of shined a little bit and uh, there was some actually some really good Star Wars to be seen uh, in that show. You just kind of had to put up with these clowns. But anyway, I don't know. I got them because I'm just, you know, I'm going to collect all the Bad Batch. And so it'd be kind of cool to have all the different characters from the Filoni verse as it would be. And so that's why I did pick these guys up. And they actually are really, really good looking action figures. And I do like these particular versions of them because they are definitely taking on more of a live action um, sort of uh, look to them or uh, uh, aesthetic. Uh, versus the uh, animated. So I do like them a lot. They, they're actually pretty cool. Um, Ezra's pretty good looking action figure. Shitty character, but good looking uh, action figure. And then Zeb's really cool. Um, I like him. I think he's a really cool looking action figure. And uh, Sabine's not bad either. Nice looking action figure. Not 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 my favorite character in Star Wars by any means. But uh, yeah, she's okay. She's a pretty cool looking action figure. Have, I've had Chopper for a while now. He was living down on one of my uh, other dioramas, but he's now up here with his uh, peers from Star Wars Rebels. And then, of course, there's Kanan and Hera. Hera is actually really cool. I showed off Hera in the last video. Um, that's a really cool looking Hera. And of course, there's Kanan back there. So, anyway, there is the Rebels crew. Um, yeah, and I actually have Ahsoka down here, and she actually would belong with them as well because she's that's a Rebels era Ahsoka down there. But I, I, I kind of put her with Yoda and Obi Wan because they're much cooler. Uh, and uh, so, anyway, these people don't deserve Ahsoka. Ahsoka's too damn cool. Uh, but anyway, so I got these guys and uh, yeah, I mean, they're cool. They're cool. I actually really do like the look of these action figures and I've, I've coveted them for a while now, even though I'm not a big fan of those particular characters, but right next to them, I did get the real hero of the rebel Alliance. Um, uh, that is of course the slayer of the second death star. Oh yeah, baby. It's Lando Calrissian. He's just standing over there and, uh, yeah, he's just showing up all these clowns. Uh, I love Love this figure. And uh, you know what? I mean, the face sculpt's not great. Uh, could be better. But uh, you know what? We just don't have enough general Lando Calrissian action figures. We just don't. We got the vintage. We got some Power of the Force love. Uh, Power of the Force 2 love with him. Uh, some Hasbro love. Some Hasbro 3 and 3 quarter inch love. This is the first time he's ever been in the Black Series. And I've never seen him in any 12 inch 1 6 scale ever. Uh, and that goes back to Kenner from 1997, uh, Hasbro in the 2000s, Sideshow in the 2010s, and now Hot Toys Today. Someone get on it and make this guy, man, because, you know, goddamn, dude destroyed the second Death Star. What else do you want? Yeah, so I love, I love Lando Calrissian. And uh, so uh, I don't know where to put him right now. He really needs knee numb. Maybe he can go up with Admiral Ackbar. I do have Admiral Ackbar, so that would look pretty cool. But uh, yeah, man. I love it. Love me some Lando Calrissian. Yeah, I think I'm going to put him up with Admiral Akbar. actually. He needs to get off the shelf uh, with these guys because uh, he just doesn't quite fit there because he's just a little too cool for school. You know, that's like, you know, walking into the cafeteria when you're, you know, in in middle school and you see this really cool kid sitting there with the, sitting there with the, sitting at some table full of the nose pickers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, I was one of the nose pickers, but yeah, you know what I mean. Okay. Anyway, let's move on. Oh, yeah, dude, that's much better. Much better, don't you think? Yeah, I totally think so. Yeah, he, he needs to be up there. But we still need that damn knee numb. So get on it. We need knee numb. Alrighty, so that's six Black Series figures total. Here's the seventh one I picked up, and I did pick up the Spirit of Yoda 
to go along with my spirit of Obi-Wan. Only one we're missing there, of course, is the spirit of Anakin. And that sort of comes into some contentious fan debate as far as which Anakin we should get. Uh, some part, some people would say they should, we should get the Sebastian uh, Shaw version from the original, original cut of Return of the Jedi. And they're not wrong. They're not wrong. I respect their opinion on that. That's a debate I'm willing to uh, listen to the other side of. I kind of am partial to Hayden Christensen, though. Uh, and then that's maybe a hot take, maybe an unpopular opinion. But uh, I don't know, man. If you just kind of like kind of follow along George Lucas's v- v- vision of the Force and how it works and how Anakin, the good Anakin, died, so to speak, uh, kind of makes sense that it would be Hayden Christensen and not Sebastian Shaw. Of course, Sebastian Shaw, if, you know, if he would have been uh, his Force ghost, if you would have been really realistic about it, he'd be a floating torso because, you know, there wasn't much left of him at that point. Um, so anyway, I don't know. Interesting debate. Would love to hear your comments down below. Um, so anyway, you're not wrong if you like uh, Sebastian Shaw, but I don't know. I'd be a little partial to Hayden right there. Hayden Christensen, Anakin Skywalker. Not that I'd turn my nose up at a good Sebastian uh, Shaw version either. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. You guys can check it out. Last weekend I was at uh, Hero Headquarters. With my good buddy, Trav Hero Headquarters, of course, as you guys may know, if you're a long-time viewer subscriber, I've been there a couple times and, and shown you guys around. Is a really nice collector store here in the Denver metro area. And I picked up this action figure set. It's actually probably been sitting there for a long time. And I've seen it there for a long time, and I never bought it. But I don't know, man. When you're hanging out with your buds, man, hanging out with your bros, yeah, sometimes you do stupid shit. So I bought this. All right, check so check it out, guys. I bought the entire set, the whole figurine Dion. I think I pronounced that right. Maybe I butchered it. I don't fucking know. But anyway, I bought the whole Cantina Alien band set at uh, at Hero Headquarters. And, of course, these came out in 1997. But they're all here. They're all different and unique. And it was an entire set of six. Got them all for just about 120 bucks. So, again, I paid exactly what these guys would have gone for retail back in 1997. Because if you guys are long-time, uh, long-time collectors... You guys would know that these uh, these collection collector series 12 inch action figures that uh, actually are Kenner. These actually came out from Kenner. I believe we will find Kenner. Yep, Kenner. Um, these actually uh, were retailed at about 20 bucks, 19.99 or so, maybe a little more depending on what store you were looking at them from, or maybe a little less. But I remember seeing these on the shelves for 19.99. Anyway, they're all here, and they all have their different instruments. And uh, yeah, it's pretty wicked, man. Pretty awesome. So there's the back side. Uh, I'll just give you guys a little look see at the back side of this, at the packaging. Just really cool, man. This, uh, you know, for some people, this is like not childhood nostalgia. For me, this, you know, takes me back to kind of the golden age of my collecting life. Ah, maybe you could say today's the golden age of my collecting life. But back in the beginnings when I was a, a, an adult collector in the beginnings, um, this, you know, these would have been available when I was in college. And I started collecting probably my third year in college, uh, around 96, 97. So, uh, yeah, really, really cool. Just, I mean, that's, that's pretty awesome. It smells like a library or something, man. I mean, I don't want to call this stuff vintage cause it's not, it's, it's post vintage to me. It's, it's modern. It's, you know, early, early modern, uh, star Wars collectibles, but man, in 1997, I was like, it's like almost 25 years ago. These are quarter of a century old, man. That's crazy, man. 1997, dude. I was, oh man, let's, 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 uh. Let's drink some beer and watch some chicks do the Macarena on the dance floor. Hot. So anyway, here I am opening them up. I'm on the second one already. And uh, yeah, it's got these old bastard twist ties. My wife actually picked these up a couple years ago and they've just been a godsend. Um, they're just nice pair of nice pair of scissors that are actually designed to cut through that shit. And uh, they have a little retractable razor blade in them. And, uh, and everything. So, I mean, these are really, really nice. Um, I highly recommend, I don't know if they still sell them, but I highly re- recommend getting a pair of these, man. Nice rubber grips on these things. And yeah, it just, it just, it just goes through this stuff like, 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 uh, like, you know, like a hot knife through butter. Of course I'm doing it with one hand, but it, it does. It works really, really good. Alrighty guys. So check it out. I've already gotten them all removed from their boxes, which took a while. There's all their empty boxes over there which is kind of nice to be able to take figures out of the box and not completely destroy said box uh, i might i might hang on to these <laughs> I, don't, I don't know we'll see i, I might have something i could do with them they, they just look really pretty i don't know we'll see i'll probably end up tossing them but yeah they look pretty pretty cool so anyway here they all are from all removed from their boxes and i've already forgotten all their names um <laughs> but anyway uh anyway this is gonna look really cool i think um however i am a little nervous about 
putting them up on that top shelf up there, up there um, without any kind of stands because there's a lot of expensive real estate that could potentially they could fall down on. So, but, uh, so we're gonna do a little little bit of a trick I have. I have a solution to that and uh, let's do that right now. Alrighty guys, so we're downstairs here in the arcade slash archive room of the Plastic Planet for the first time in a long time. You guys are gonna see why I call it the archive room. And yeah, I, it's late summer, early fall and I get just, just, I get invaded by crickets down here. It's just crazy, it makes me crazy, damn crickets. Trying to get laid. I hear you, man, I hear you. Okay, anyway, let's, uh, let's right, check so here's on Transformers, cool. So anyway, this is the hoarder room, but uh, this is the in, this is the true archive room uh, in here. This is where I keep uh, whatever I don't have on display, as you guys know, if you're a long time viewer subscriber, uh, you know that comic books, and uh, there's all kinds of cool Star Wars stuff in here, and there's some not so cool Star Wars stuff in here as well. But uh, anyway, over here, check it out. I have an entire bag full of, can you see that? Yep. There it is, doll stands. Sorry, that got a little shaky there. Yeah, a whole bag full of doll stands uh, from back when I collected um, Hasbro 12 inch action figures and they didn't come with stands back in the day. So these are all from like Hobby Lobby and Michaels and shit. So anyway, we're gonna use these. Oh, check out that General Grievous. I need to get him up there. Do I need to get him up in the main plastic planet display room? I think I do. Yeah, he's really cool. But uh, yeah, so anyway, you guys can see more boxes full of just awesome shit down here. I've got some TIE fighters hanging from the ceiling. Got a episode two slave one. Oh, look, it's Watto. 10 to be four. So anyway, cool stuff down here. Uh, my boxes, some of my sideshow boxes are here, but most of those have been moved up to the attic. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. Life stuff, yeah. Anyway, all right, let's go. Alrighty, so with the use of these old stands, check out, uh, not too bad. Now he's gonna be sitting down, of course. Uh, this one guy right here with his little, I don't know, I, I kind of like to think he's the drummer of the band. Like that's the, that's the, that's the, the drum kind of thing, the, the space drum. But anyway, um, I'm probably wrong on that. But anyway, yeah, they look pretty good. Now again, you know, the articulation is limited on these things. So it's kind of hard to get the, them into a really good pose with their with their instruments. I really wanted to make it look like they were actually playing them as opposed to holding them. Uh, so I think I accomplished that. This guy I couldn't quite get, so he's kind of holding it off to the side. But that's okay. It looks like he kind of is in the box anyway. Um, if you guys will check it out, it looks like he's kind of holding that off to the side a little bit there. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, I don't know, not too bad, not too bad. So, uh, cool. So anyway, we're going to get these guys up there where I said, and, uh, let's see how that. All right, guys, so check it out. This is how it finally ended up up here with my, uh, awesome Cantina band. I'm probably going to extend out this a little bit, maybe get some, uh, uh, maybe get a nice background for them, make it look a little bit more consistent with the, uh, the Natan's Nook or the Mos Eisley Cantina, whatever this from Sideshow that I have here in the corner, but uh, definitely we'll uh, be putting some kind of background on them. So it's not just that green, ugly wall paint I have down here, but uh, yeah, looking really, really nice. There's the whole shelf for you guys. Just kind of pan back and give you guys just a real sense of how I'm going with this. I think it looks really, really nice. Again, here's a weird, weird exception where you got old school, literally Kenner, 1997 modern, uh, 12 inch action figures holding their own with some really narrowly nice sideshow figures from the mid 2000s. Uh, you know, these figures came out probably 10 years later, but looking really good next to these guys. I don't know. It, it, it's nice. And you know, again, I mean the sideshow, the sideshow uh, cantina band on the aftermarket is, is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. You know, I paid 120 for the entire set. So really, really nice. You gotta, you gotta be economy sometimes guys. You really gotta be economy sometimes. Can't buy it all, especially with shit on the aftermarket and just, you know, gets super expensive. So uh, yeah, really, really nice shelf though. Really, really nice. All right, you guys, so lastly tonight, guys, I was at Walmart and, you know, we're getting into the Halloween season now and they had some really interesting Star Wars masks from Ruby's in the sort of the electronics department, kind of by where they keep the NECAs and the uh, adult action figures. And they had a bunch of different Star Wars uh, masks from Ruby's for $50 each, $49.99. They had the Emperor, they had Bosk, they had Darth Maul, and they had a Tusken Raider. Well, I picked up the Tuscan Raider. Check it out. Now, so look at this shit, man. This is really cool. So I'm not going to put this on my damn head or anything because it probably like smells like latex or some shit, rubber. Uh, and, you know, I, I'm just way too old to put shit on my head. But uh, yeah, I mean, look at this awesome looking Tuscan Raider. That is beautiful. I actually bought a uh, styrofoam uh, like wig head to put under it. So it kind of has, kind of, you know, makes it a little, gives it a little, uh, little, little bit of a, uh, you know, you know, 
fluffs it out a little bit, I guess, is that what I'm trying to say? Uh, but anyway, it looks really, really good. Got him over here on my refrigerator um, with my awesome Star Wars uh, inspired Coca-Cola collection. And of course, Bibi Grogu there and my, uh, my Salacious Crumb from Galaxy's Edge. But looking really, really cool. I mean, it's kind of weird looking head there, but I don't know, man. I think it's really cool. Uh, just give you guys a little bit more of a, a back shot on that one. So yeah, looking cool. I mean, I, I don't know, man. I'm just trying to really, really bring my collection more uh, in universe. And I think pieces like this really, really help. So yeah, really cool. I've said cool like 15 times. It's radical. Dope. Alrighty guys, well that is going to wrap up this edition of The Plastic Planet. Please like, share, comment. Please do subscribe, guys, if you're not a subscriber. Uh, you know, just like every YouTube channel, a big percentage of my audience are non-subscribers. And so just all you have to do is click that subscribe button and that's it. Uh, otherwise, you know, the, the, the YouTube algorithm straight up hates this channel. Um, and uh, you can buck the system by hitting the subscribe button. I would be just eternally grateful because just helps out the channel. I mean, you know, I don't, I don't ask for a lot. I don't, you know, ask for money. There's no Patreon on this channel. You know, I don't, you know, I'm, you know, if you hit subscribe, you know, it's a, it's a non-commitment action on your part. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna show up at your house. I'm not gonna sit in your bathrobe eating your Fruit Loops on your couch. Uh, you know, nothing, nothing. You just hit the subscribe button and you're done. And uh, it just helps the channel out, and then you can continue to enjoy all the stuff that I have to show off here. On the plastic planet all right guys well enough of that bullshit uh anyway hope, uh remember guys life is also very 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 short so get out there and fill it uh fill it with some plastic crap all right guys till next time later love you bye